I used to be morbidly obese as a kid. Now I look like this. I'm going to tell you my full fitness journey, so you can save years of your time by not repeating my mistakes. In elementary school, I could only run 12 laps on the pacer test before getting gassed. We had a gym class once where they measured our height and weight and calculated our body mass index. I remember getting this little folding pamphlet with a horizontal colored bar that showed us our BMI and how unhealthy or healthy we were compared to kids in our own age group. The left side was blue for underweight, the middle bit was green for healthy BMI, and as you went to the right side, the bar turned yellow for overweight, orange for obese, and red for morbidly obese. There was a black line all the way on the right side of the bar with 99th percentile written above it. I was fatter than 99% of kids in my height and age group. I already knew that I was chubby. Every Saturday I would eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Then I would eat a full family-sized bag of chips plus a caramel Milky Way bar and my choice of dessert to finish it all off. One time I ate an entire pack of Chewy Chips Ahoy cookies in under one hour. The best Chips Ahoy cookie type was Chewy, since I could go through the entire bag without having to get up to get a drink. I didn't do sports. I didn't know what exercising was. I would start sweating and breathing hard after going up a single flight of stairs. Of course I was fat. But that number, 99th percentile. That hit me pretty hard. I wore hoodies and long pants and jackets to try and hide the fact that I was fat. But we all know that doesn't work. In 7th grade, I decided to start exercising. I didn't know what I was doing, so I started out bicep curling a 2 liter water kettle. Then my parents bought me actual gym equipment because they thought I looked absolutely stupid curling that stainless steel kettle. Suddenly I had two 10 pound dumbbells and a yoga mat. I also had an upright piano at home so I could use the piano bench as my workout bench. It was non-adjustable. For the first year I was pretty aimless. I did a full body workout with one exercise for every muscle I could think of, except my back because I didn't know my back existed. And I did this every single day, no matter what, for probably 400 days in a row. Then I started doing a little bit of researching. I got one of those pull-up bars that you could hook on door frames. I changed my workout routine to a bro split. For every week, I had five days dedicated to five muscle groups. Shoulders, back, chest, legs, and arms, with two days of rest. Every other day, I would do an ab circuit which consisted of a 6 minute plank, 2 minutes and 30 seconds of side planks, and 24 hanging leg raises. Doesn't sound too bad, right? Let me read you a typical arm routine from my bro split era. 2 sets of 30 bicep curls per arm. 2 sets of 30 weighted bench dips. 2 sets of 15 hammer curls. 2 sets of 15 close grip push-ups. 2 sets of 20 zatman curls. Two sets of 20 lying tricep extensions, and to finish it all off, two sets of 15 wrist curls and wrist extensions. Every session would last for around 90 minutes to two hours. I followed this routine for four years. Now that I think about it, this routine was absurd. I was making some gains at the beginning, but I reached a plateau after two years. Towards the end, I was doing so many reps for each set that I was unable to fully extend my arms because of tendonitis. But I was ignorant, and I really, really wanted to be fit, so I kept going. Quarantine hit, and I took a two-year break from exercising. Everything changed when I got access to actual gym equipment after I started college. I was still using the same bro-split routine, still taking every single set to failure, but... With the addition of heavy compound lifts while trying to cut calories to lose fat and not getting adequate sleep. This didn't work out. In one semester, I tweaked my lower back five times, messed up my left shoulder on a bench press, and both of my quads would cramp at the same time when I tried to go downstairs. Hmm, I thought to myself. Maybe my current routine fucking sucks? 
I had too much junk volume and too little recovery time. Instead of two days of rest a week, I changed my routine to four days of rest and dedicated three days per week to the big five compound lifts. Basically Martin Birkin's lean gain protocol. This had an immediate positive effect. I was no longer accumulating random injuries. I was getting strength at a higher rate and I noticed some fat loss. I kept following this routine and eventually I had some all right looking abs for the first time in my life. A far cry from the three stomach rolls I had several years ago. Now I'm going to try and bulk until I'm borderline fat again. I know my fitness journey was way too long because I was ignorant and wasted so many years of my life training without intent. I really recommend you read Fuck Around Itis by Martin Birkin. It seriously saved me so much time and resulted in more gains. Yeah, that's my full fitness journey. I hope it was helpful, at least a little bit. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.